Welcome back. Many people make New Year's resolutions to get in shape, but it's sometimes tough to stick with. We always talk about that here all the time. Jenny May Claremont of Fitness Together is here with some tips on how to beat the winter workout blues. Yeah. And uh, Jenny, I tell you what, uh, some people, you know, by February, everything stops. I mean, that's right. right? They make those yeah. resolutions to stay in shape. And by February, everything stops. It's the darkness and the cold and just gets discouraging. So is that what does it for us? I think is that's it? a big part of it. Some yeah. of that seasonal affective disorder, there's not as much sunlight. We're not outside as much. It starts to impact how we feel. Mm -hmm. And then the cooler temperatures in the morning, you don't want to get up and get going. So it just discourages us that little bit. All right, you're going to tell folks how to beat that. So yep. you call that the winter blues, the winter, it's the winter blues. blues. Yeah, it just kind of robs our motivation. All right. So how do we beat all of that stuff? You have some tips for us. I mean, yeah. one, you're saying to us that we need to incorporate a winter sport. Yeah. People well, don't like cold weather sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but if you can find a winter sport that gets you outside and allows you to play, a lot of times as adults, like when we're, summertime, we get outside and as adults, we go out and to kind of play. We do more activities, we do more sports. It makes us feel better. We get out in the sunlight. In the winter, we kind of hibernate, if you will. And if you can find a winter sport, something like ice skating, um, cross country skiing, especially as the snow comes back in the forecast, snowshoeing, sledding, even sledding with the kids, those things will get you back outside, allow you to get some play in there, if you will. Mm -hmm. and It'll boost those hormones and start having you feel better. So, so all you need to do is incorporate a little bit of uh, yeah, outdoor stuff. A little stuff bit of outdoor there. stuff, get okay. some of that sunlight. And second, you're saying that uh, keeping your workout regular, well, obviously that goes without saying. I mean, you have, yep. a, you have to have a regular workout. You want to keep that, I know, right. but with the cooler temperatures, people yeah. might be you know, kind of more inclined to skip that workout. Mm -hmm. You want to keep it on point because that's key to keeping your body functioning at 100% and keeping your hormones good. And it, a good trick to that is to pick a, a goal, an event to train for in the spring. So a 5K or if you play soccer to pick an event like a tournament or something to compete in, just kind of set your sights ahead. Spring's only 61 days away. So if you pick an event in the spring to train for, then you've only got two months to train for it. You make that sound so good. It's only 61 it's days. It's 61 days. It's not very far. <laughs> it so actually sounds good. Swimsuit season's not very far either, so you want to stay on point with that. Mind and body techniques. What is that? I mean, how uh, you... Mind and body techniques. You, so a lot of times we start to get depressed or we get anxious when in this time of the year. So if you start to focus on some exercises that just kind of calm your mind, soothe your spirit and keep you active at the same time, that's mm -hmm. good. So things like yoga, Tai Chi, even walking meditation, those are all great things to do for mind body. And around this time of year, we usually sort of crave comfort food. You know, we break out the uh, slow cooker and all that good stuff. Yeah, big bowls of macaroni yeah. and cheese, hot chocolates curled up on the couch while you're watching a movie. Those are foods that we want to avoid. So. They're going to throw your diet off. They're going to throw your hormones off. They're going to leave you feeling more fatigued than before you ate the food. So other better options are some warm oatmeal, some chicken noodle soup. They'll have the same soothing effect. Um, you Don't you need a little layer of fat, though, to... Uh... <laughs> That's what clothes are for. You've heard that before, right? <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. All right, so alcohol and caffeine. Yeah, alcohol yeah. and caffeine, they're quick fixes. They mm -hmm. make us feel good when we have them, but they do a number on your hormones. They set you up to gain weight. They're going to make you feel worse in the long run, so you want to avoid them. I, you know, keep your coffee to two drinks a day and keep your alcohol to four drinks a week. And uh, having a regular schedule, like sleep schedule, those actually will help you too. We have about 10 seconds. Yeah, sleep is really key. You want to stay on point with that. Um, we tend to hit the snooze button more yeah. in the mornings, which really throws off our sleep cycle and can really rob our energy. So a quick fix for that is to set your alarm outside of your room so that when you have to turn it off, you have to get up. Once you're up, it's that much easier to stay on point. But the biggest thing here is to try and get some exercise outdoors and try yeah. a, a winter sport. Would you be really want to that. try and incorporate a winter sport and get outside in the light and just dress warm for it and just get some play time in there. All right, so. Jenny May Claremont from Fitness Together. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Good advice. Always a pleasure. Good, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so Thanks. much.